It's a culture that is so different, yet unlocks so much warmth and love in me. And I knew that this would be an incredible transformative experience for them. Unlock that vulnerability, that expressiveness, that adventure within them. The first time that these guys were warming up voices, I got some chills actually. It was so, so touching. I don't know, it's kind of cliche maybe, but music is a common language and so even if we don't understand what the other is saying, when we got to sing Sonetto de la Noche, they obviously know, maybe despite our accents, what we're saying and so it can be kind of a moving thing on both parts and the same when they sang Amazing Grace and we got to join in with them, that was kind of a cool way to swap and share those language barrier issues, I guess. One of the one of the kids, we were talking about hip hop and stuff, and I told him like, "Oh, I can freestyle a little bit." So he like, he beatboxed, and um, I freestyled for them. And everybody gathered, and everybody was cheering, and people were like, adding in like different rhythms and stuff. And so I think when you receive people with open arms like that, people can come together. That's basically what I've seen. And when, when they were done, I said like, you know what, it's been like so great, like spending this hour with you, singing for us, singing for me. I want to, to give you something in exchange. We're in the capital of Salsa, in the world. We wanted to take you to like this traditional, only Salsa place, so you can actually enjoy that culture of Cali and what makes us different from other parts of Colombia. Like during the night, it was like one hour, one hour and a half later, they have improved so, so much. There's where the cultural exchange makes sense because they were like telling me, hey, everybody, everybody can sing. So I, I will say like, you know, everybody can dance as well. I met this student the first day we were there when we visited the school and just kind of talked to him and with my very limited Spanish, kind of asked him some questions, I got to know him a little bit. And then when we had our concert afterwards, he came up to me and he just grabbed both of my hands and looked me straight in the eyes just for a moment and was like, thank you so much. And it was really kind of moving for me and he just held my hands and just kept saying, thank you, thank you. And I was like, no, thank you. I mean, you welcomed us to your home and we're the visitors and you know, I've really enjoyed getting to work with all of you. And it was just a mutual appreciation of what we do and what we work for. And you know, he just gave me a big hug at the end and I said goodbye. Wherever you go, wherever, whoever you meet, don't go into it with a preconceived notion. Don't go into it with any assumptions. Um, what this place will be like or how these people will be. Just go into it with open arms and that's how you can make change, you know? That's how you can, when you are open to people and, and, and hear what they have to say and really experience them um, fully, then that's when change can happen. Culture interaction is like one of the best things that can happen to you because it opens your world. Will let you see the world from another perspective. I didn't think that in six days I would get so close to you. And I have. I have. And I actually do have friends, you know, a family, you know. Danny, Danny told me, like yesterday, you have a family there. Whenever you want to go, you'll be so welcome there. And so you are here. Whenever you, you want to come back, you know you will have a place to, and a person who, who will be like here. I think that's my biggest surprise, how, how involved I got in this and how connected I am now with, now with everyone. Making music is really similar to loving in that to really let it be genuine and real, you open yourself up to being vulnerable.